Boom. Recording, bro. Can edit this out. Or something, bro. Shit, I don't know. What are we... What am I even gonna do right now? Hmm. Let's just go look at some old pictures and see what happens. Also, let me... Hold on, let me turn on my music. You can't edit without music, I'm telling you. Well, at least photo editing. Not video editing. Because then it would just be hard. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, shit, what are we in the mood for? I'm kind of feeling the SOBRB. Let's just create a station and see where it takes me. Boom. Turn up my music over here. Hopefully you guys can't hear it. All right. So we're just going to look at old stuff and see if we can make anything in Photoshop from it. So I have this folder called Ordinary Things. And you guys are probably looking around my pages. Um. Oh. All right. I kind of want to do something for my Bisbee shoot, but I also have to keep this under an hour because my camera's only going to record an hour. So let's. This could be fun to mess with. I really like this photo. And I think a lot of people took really well to this photo. I think I'm going to use this one. So let's just open with. Oops, maybe not. You know what, we'll, we'll open Photoshop because I don't know how to use my apps. I'm feeling that song, actually. All right, I got an hour of music on this one. A little Drake. Be perfect. All right, let's drag this into Photoshop. And we're just going to mess with it, I guess. I wonder... I always like to make my crop 4-5 um, or 5-4, however you want to say it. Just because that's what Instagram takes and it just, you know, everything revolves around Instagram. I actually don't like that, so this is what I'm going to do. Sometimes you can save a crop if you double the layer over here. You can just take one of them. Like, let's say, actually we got to make the crop first. I'm just going to pull the crop to the edge because I want the full picture. That's what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to show you guys how to do that. Hopefully my camera is okay with me this close to my computer. <laughs> Maybe I'll move it a little, like right there. All right. Cool, so this bottom layer is going to be the bigger one. So I'm just going to pull it out to somewhere that I like it. I don't know why, but I always like lining things up. Like obviously this doesn't line up, but like just one line or something to like keep your brain thinking. There's even a cool one over here, shoot. Sometimes you gotta hold shift and just work it. Or you can just move it around till it fits perfect. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice, I'm not gonna lie. Cause then you have look this line, which kinda kinda I guess it doesn't, but and then this line. Let me let me fix this real quick. Boom, I'm just hitting that down down arrow or whatever. Okay, that lines up a lot better now. But something that sometimes I like to do is just see what happens if you like uh, let's see, use clone tool or something. And I always do current and below, so I'm sampling layer one and layer zero, so I can I can use both images to my advantage. But um, yeah, we could just totally line this up real quick, especially this one, I think. Let's go back here a little. And then you'll just paint up the line. Boom. 
Works a lot better now. <laughs> I'm so close to my computer. Holy shoot. Holy shoot. <laughs> don't do that, guys. That was weird. Okay. So, yeah, I don't know. That looks alright to me. I might clone this one as well. Um, but I'm, I'm cloning on the second layer, obviously, because I don't want to affect this one. I just want to draw from here and use it on this layer. Go back a little. Oops. I'm going to start down here more so we don't hit that edge. Boom, just carries the line. I don't really know what that does for the image, but I just, myself, I like to see those lines connect. It just like satisfies my brain. You know what I mean? These ones I don't really have to worry too much about. I'm just gonna fix the edge, just cause you can see this little line here and I don't want it. So bang, 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 bang down the line. Take that one out. Super easy though. And now you just have clean lines on your uh, whatever we're gonna do here. I'm gonna convert this one to a smart object real quick and just put a blur on it behind because sometimes blurs are just make the photos a little better uh, or the one behind a little better just so that everyone focuses on the main one. Whoa, that blur crazy. So I'm probably just gonna do super, super small blur. just so that your eye is more focused in the middle, but you still see those lines on the edge. Boom, and you can just toggle this on and off. Not really noticeable, but I mean, I can see it. So <laughs> I guess that's all that matters, right? Um, I wanna do, I really would like to do just a texture drop on this paint and like show you guys how to do that. It's super freaking easy though. So maybe we'll do something harder, quarter. Oh no. Um, let's just see what we have. You know what was really cool is this, this is like, so this is my space folder, but the images that the Hubble or whatever or NASA got of Jupiter and like all the planets in ultraviolet, that shit is crazy. Um, so as soon as those are on their public domain, I'm going to use them. Actually, maybe we should just check real quick. This, it's going to be so much longer. Images.nasa.gov. That's where I get a lot of my stuff. It's all public domain. Straight from the satellites. I'm just going to type in ultraviolet. See if it comes up. Mm. It don't look like it. <laughs> Hold on, let's... 2019 to 2020, let's see if that gets all the, only the new stuff that just they just took. Dang it, no it doesn't. Hmm. X-ray, is that what we were under? No. I'm just gonna type planets. And only videos, or only images and audio. This might, I might be taking too much time doing this, but yeah, I think I am. All right, so there's nothing in there, Never mind. I thought it'd be cool if I could get that. But I was thinking something like this would kind of be cool because it already kind of matches the car's paint. Let's just see what it looks like. Oops. Drop it on top. And I like this one because it's, you can just use a screen on it just since it's black. So I'll show you. Screen blending mode and you already kind of can see like the shimmeriness or whatever. I'm gonna tag this to the first one only. The way I did that was using Alt. I don't know if you guys are watching this for a tutorial or not, but I'll just keep it how I usually keep doing it. I'm just gonna talk and edit. And if you pick things up, you pick things up. I hope that doesn't sound mean, but <laughs> I don't feel like explaining everything, you know? Um, okay. So I just, I like the placement right here on this side, kind of how this gas cloud, you can kind of barely see it. This gas cloud kind of hovers over this light. And then we got this stuff out here. I'm gonna take it off the top now. Hmm, I'll have to add some over here. Let's do that first, actually. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, 
on the Hubble layer that we have, this little space layer. I'm just gonna select a little piece of it, like a little rectangle, and then just Command J. Now I have an extra layer. And now I'm gonna put it next to it, and then horizontally flip it so that it matches its other side. And we're just gonna pull it to the very edge, try and get no. You don't want any crease here, so. But you also don't want it like that. It's kind of ugly. All right, there's the crease. Oops, no, one more. Nope, one more. <laughs> oh, maybe this image isn't. Is it straight? Oh, yeah, it's straight. Oh, no, it's not straight. What am I talking about? I'm crazy. We want this at zero, dude. Wow, what a start. <laughs> All right, go back to layer two. You know what? I'm done with that. <laughs> I don't want to use that anymore. Okay, so I was what I was gonna do prior to messing around with that. I was gonna use a different word, but I wanted to see what the different blending modes would do to this image over the car. Nothing super crazy. I have been liking saturation lately. I know last time I said I didn't use it much, but it does look kind of cool. Um, but I don't really like that either, to be honest. I think I might just keep it at screen and maybe do double screen or maybe add a hue saturation with the blending mode added to it. I don't really know, but that's okay. I'm gonna do this. I want to keep this cloud over this eye right here, so I'm going to warp it. And I know you guys have seen warps before because in my last video, there was hella warps. And I would use warp warp, but I'm going to use a puppet warp actually. So scratch that. Layer. It's a smart object, right? Oh, image. Wait. Oh, edit, edit puppet warp. There we go. So then we can do it without like damaging it too much. Let's just bring that one back. But I'm gonna do it on these right here, just because we're gonna pull it up. Oops. We're gonna pull it up. Get out of your pin. We're gonna pull it up near that the bridge of that light, and just make it pull the smoke above in a line. I might have used the wrong pins here. Let's delete some pins. I don't want them crossing over. All right. Boom. Just going to do it all up and down here just so I can pull it the right way I want it. Kind of swirl it up and around if we can. I'm also like forming it to the to the car while I'm doing this. <clears throat> Let's just see what this looks like real quick. Like garbage. Okay, so what I'm gonna do instead, I'm just gonna cheat it. And I'm gonna Boom. Now it's on the side. Sick. <laughs> okay, this should get pretty easy from here. Now I can turn this off. What I'm gonna do is mask out the paint and then we'll go from there. We'll just see what else is going on. I'm not too talkative right now. I'm so in the mood to just go at this right now. All right, I'm gonna sample all layers so that instead of me just doing the object select on this layer, it'll do the whole car's paint because that's what I'm gonna select right now. So I'm going to select just around the edge, boom, 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 everywhere I want that pattern to touch. Covering the the uh, wheel well there, over through the grill, boom, Let's see what happens. All right, it didn't get that much. Sometimes that happens. So we're just going to keep adding. Oh, I'm on negative. We're going to keep adding. <laughs> 
Okay, so it's kind of getting there. I think we might be able to do this a different way, and this could be a good thing to teach. Um, selecting this hood, because it's all kind of the same tone. You can do select color range. Boom. And you get this map here. You can turn up, up and down the fuzziness. I'll do mine like halfway. But basically what you're doing is you're, sh you're clicking, and it's selecting all the white areas. So I'm going to sh shift click and pull and drag so that I can get the specific areas I want. And you see now like I have all the area that I want highlighted. And I can control the fuzziness just to get what I want. Boom. So there it is. I'll put it on this Hubble space thing real quick. And you can see already see the difference. Like if I turn this off, it like covers the whole thing. Enable it, and now it's just on the paint, really, and kind of on the outside. But we're gonna fix that right now. So, back to the blending mode grind. Make sure you're on black pen or a black brush, whatever you like to use. I use a brush because it's easy. And I'm just like gonna roughly paint out what I don't want to be covered by this stardust. Music break. All right, that was stupid. <laughs> okay, we don't want anything inside the light, obviously. Um, anything near the tires, don't want any of that. And then we can clean up the badge work just with like a lighter density brush and we're just gonna kind of do it rough. Not like that. <laughs> swear um and then yeah i'm just cleaning everything up trying to get the stuff where i don't want it out of there and then adding it where i want it back i don't even think there's a bit up there i'll just take that out okay there we go okay cool that's kind of boring i mean it's kind of cool but it's kind of boring at the same time there's not much going on with it so what we can do to spice it up a little bit, spice it up a little bit, is add back in with a low opacity brush. Boom, boom. This is helping to like cover up a lot of these edges, a lot of these lines we created in the beginning. And this is probably gonna be super simple, cheap little edit for you guys to do. I mean, I'm not doing, I didn't do too much. I just kind of put a picture in and lined it up how I wanted it. And then I'm just gonna use the blending tool just to make a simple little piece of art. And I really like like how the white comes out on that like tan color car. It's like super nice. Um, I got a little bit that I missed up here. I'll zoom in so you guys can see it. Sometimes it's like super hard to see, but I'm way too detail oriented to let that go because you guys will see it. And if you guys don't see it, another artist will see it. And then we're in trouble. <laughs> FBI, open up. That's such a good move. Okay. Coming down here, just adding some sparkle, just overlapping a little bit of the areas just to give it like a glowish. Feel, especially around the light we could do could do a little bit not too much just enough to get the pop on the light another thing I like to do is on these little lines just use a small brush and shift click a straight line across boom so clean so easy boom boom we're just shifting across boom you're just like making these lines more defined. I just think it's really worth it. Worth the, worth the masking. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I just think it looks good. And it's like the little things that make these things good. Hmm. I'm gonna do one in here as well. There's a little too much. Oops, going too low. There's a little too much sparkle in here boom and take it out a little i'm actually going to turn that opacity down sorry but the weird head nod or head bomb 
Boom. Perfect. That's pretty sick. I kind of like that. So now I'm just going to mess with it. And I'm going to add another layer. Just see what happens. The blending modes. That's like my favorite things to use. They're so easy. Whoa, that's sick. That is super sick. That is super sick. Yeah, that's dope. Okay, hold up. We might have found something here. Enter. What's going on? Why am I getting sticky keyed? <laughs> What's happening? Soft light. Yes, thank you. Oh, are we good now? Oh, no. What is happening? I feel like I'm missing something here. This new Amine is crazy. You guys probably can't hear it, but this shit is good. Okay, you know what? Let's just see what happens if I do this, take it away. Oh, now all of a sudden it works? Now you wanna work? What the heck? Okay, just low opacity brush. I'm just taking stuff away, not putting it in from the layer we just added in. Cause it can be a little much in some areas. And I don't want it to outshine the main part of the car. Yes, that's fire. I love that. Um. I'm pretty close to just like being done with this one. What time is it? Um, what I'm gonna do is do some toning. I've seen a bunch of people do this. No, not split toning, cause that shit's whack. Um, I'm just kidding. For all you Lightroom users, split toning is kind of cool, but there's some people out there be using it a lot and base their whole style off it, which isn't a bad thing at all. But I like to you know, branch out a little more from what I usually do. And I feel like some people use it as a crutch. Anyways, you guys should just get into Photoshop. Shit's way better than Lightroom. Okay. Now that I've colored, I gave it a, a color panel or like a tone panels, what I like to call it. Usually I'll just label it whatever color it is blue. But this will change a bunch because we'll just be over here messing with different colors. But... Basically gonna go through and just see what gives it this kind of feel that I want, which is a little like spacey holographic-y. Whoa, overlay is pretty crazy. Soft light's always a good choice. And then you just mess with the opacity, kind of toggle it on and off so you can see it. And we'll go through, we'll keep going. We're on soft lights, so we'll see what else is out there. Soft light's the best one so far. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna go with soft light. But now what we're gonna do is just experiment with color. So I use like dark, like burgundy sometimes. Oops. Hello, there we go. So changed it to a dark burgundy. I'll show you that. Boom. This one kind of works sometimes. I don't know. Burgundy is a really hard color to tone with. I feel like. Lighter color looks cool though. But yeah, this is where it gets interesting. You just kind of mess around. And we're gonna go back to that blue. But what I'm gonna do is use a different tone. Use my favorite tone of blue. Where's it at? Here it is. It's called Dino's Blue. 8DD0E8. If you want the hex code, if you're a hex code person, like I am. Oh, okay, see, this is why, this is why we use this below. Do you see what it did? It like pulled it all to the front. Like it looks like water almost now. And that's at 45 opacity. I mean, we could turn it up and it'll get a little softer, but 50 is pretty nice. So I'll do this and then I'll create another panel and then like that blue that we already had earlier, it's kind of around here somewhere. 
just use that in certain spots on its own to get the other tones that we want. Genius. Maybe something lighter, actually. Something like that. Soft light it. Pull it down. It's not bad. What does multiply do to this, though? Hmm. Ooh, color burn. There we go. That's what we're doing. Color burn for sure. Super dope. Super, 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 super dope. And that's like mad easy too. Like we barely did anything. <laughs> Honestly. Um, our little four or five box is a little small. There it goes, okay. So we got a little uh, too much glow right here next to the wheel. Just gonna make our brush super small and get in here. Pull this out. The inside of the fender as well. Kind of touches the grill here. We don't want that. Don't really want too much on this. I could probably do with a little more uh, upkeep down here. There we go. We'll do both layers as well just to really get it out of there. Boom. V8 logo. Gotta pull that out. Come on. You know we had to do it. This Mac Miller is hitting right now. I want to cry. Boom. V8 logo. She's out of there. And we'll just check everything. You know. Just give it the once over. Ah, see, we found stuff that we don't want. All right, just a little too much on the grill here, or on, not on the grill, on this like balance or siding or trim or whatever you want to call it. Just a little too much, you know, just enough to notice where I, that I don't want it. And we'll really clean it up by doing both layers. Where's my? There it is. My mic is in the way. I can't see the bottom of my screen. Got a big mic. All right. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. I really like that, actually. It looks so sick. So now what I'll do is I'm just going to add some adjustment layers to this to this soft lighted uh, version of the clouds and just play with another blending mode just to kind of really set it in there. And that might be too much. I might have to turn that down. It's linear burn. Yeah, that's sick. That's super sick. If you guys bought my book, this picture is, or I think the sister picture to this is in there. But I really, really like, damn it. Damn it. <laughs> there we go, now I'm using black. I really, really like this picture of this car. It was one of the ones that I took, just kind of just took it, I don't know. We were just messing around, me and Tyler. Shout out Tyler, at Trit Visuals, I think, on Instagram. Anyways, we were in Lowell, Arizona, and we just, I knew about this like little gas station area with all these old cars. This one was just kind of sitting there. I kind of just took it on the way to meet him where he was shooting over in some other little area of the street we were on. Um, but I took like, I popped like two images and I just really liked it for some reason. It just like kind of stood out. We're gonna do this later. I'm gonna clean up these lines again. We're using white. Remember to use black when you're deleting. Just making these lines. But yeah, anyways, about the picture. The picture is super sick. I mean, I really like the tones that I got out of it. 
I freaking really love like just like super bright images lately. Super bright, like vibrant stuff. Sorry that I'm not talking so much. This is like super intense, tiny work. Um, but yeah, dude, I just like the way it turned out. I've been, man, I preached for so long about not using saturation and vibrance. And then I kind of dove deeper and watched some people and learned actually what they do. And so like, if you think of saturation and vibrance as like the same thing that just do different increments of that thing. So like saturation, if you think about like saturation, if you move the slider over, it's on a scale of like one. So saturation is like you pull it over. All right, that's one. Vibrance is like one, three, five. So like you're skipping two and four. So you can like go across vibrance. This probably doesn't make that much sense, but if you ever look in your iPhone editor, saturation, the whole dot is filled up by color. Vibrance, there's just lines. And it, it basically is telling you like, vibrance does the same as saturation, but just not on the same scale. It's like on a lesser scale. It only does increments of what saturation does, which is like why vibrance is so useful. But vibrance and saturation used together, like you, a lot of people will pull them opposite ways. And I think that's super cool that, that has like a super cool effect too but i've been recently just playing with uh, vibrance and whites because if you notice when you edit in lightroom your whites actually like pulls up even though it blows out a lot which is what you're kind of see with this car it pulls up the tones of the colors and almost does like a third of what vibrance does so if what sat if what vibrance is to saturation whites the way i edit is to vibrance if that makes sense probably doesn't but it makes sense in my head so <laughs> anyways let's keep fucking doing these lines sorry that i'm cursing youtube don't demonetize me bro please i'm not getting money from this <laughs> no way jose all right i mean that's that's pretty fair. I mean, this is not bad. I'm just gonna lightly give it some like, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Black, remember to paint with black when we're taking away. Stupid. Boom. Just cleaning everything up now because you got to. Make, everything sh make sure everything's clean before you put it out. And then what I'm actually going to do is pull this maybe like right here and kind of center it more, you know, we'll see how that looks. It might look stupid. Hmm. Now nah, the original is fine. I like it how this is. So now we're gonna use a levels adjustment on the whole thing, or actually use a curves adjustment because I don't do that too much. Boom. Boom. Simple S curve. Opposite way though. Why? Oh no. The highlights are already really high. We don't really need them. Kind of kind of adds like a weird effect, but we might go back in here and just mess with it. Or what I'll just do is I'll be lazy for one of these on there. Boom. Pull the highlights back in a little. No, that's, ooh, that's gross. No. <laughs> no way. Boom. Take it away. I don't even really like that. I don't even really like that. Let's just get rid of that. Make sure the bottom is good. Okay, cool. And I don't know, like that to me... That's worthy to go on Instagram. I feel like people will click on that. <laughs> so like, I don't know, this just kind of shows the art doesn't have to like take a long time to make, you know, if you can just go into it and think about an idea or like maybe think about a concept and just kind of wing it, you can make art in like whatever what was this, what was this like 30, 40 minutes? I'm not really sure, but <laughs> I don't know. I think it's sick. Maybe. 
I don't know. You might see it on my Instagram pretty soon. You might not. It's cool. I think I could probably play with the colors more, but I'll probably save that for another time, to be honest. But it might go out tonight, so who knows? We'll just save this real quick. <laughs> we'll do Car Bisbee. Car Bisbee. <laughs> Bisbee. Why am I pressing my U button? Car Bisbee, maybe. Save it to our Photoshop saves. Bang. Okay. And I'm just gonna export this one just so I can look at it on my phone, see what it looks like. Bisbee car maybe put it in the experiments folder. Where are we at here? Boom, experiments. Save it in here. And we're gonna end the show there. Deuces.